one of them is actually uh, the color options okay now if i want now if you see this entire document this entire document uh, uh, beam uh, this entire presentation is plain so if you want to have a better look at it so what you do is it go to the demo presentation this is the presentation so if i were to give a presentation mode it's if you look at it it's simple neat and these and we'll explain i'll explain you guys in a moment as to how to make these animations but if you see this presentation is extremely simple uh, style wise but it's more than more than more than sufficient to con uh, more than sufficient to uh, say information this presentation is simple okay now thing is uh, if you uh, but the thing is if uh, this is the, actually the plainest version of the the most plain version of the presentation if you want to change the color uh, in the, throughout the presentation what you have to do is just write write the color name within the options and if you run this and there you have it throughout the document the color of the uh, color of the document is changed initially the default color of the, the presentation was blue now it's red because i changed it to red over here suppose if i set this to say orange no something little contrasting green green let's say run this um i guess green is not available so if i set this to uh, orange let's see if orange is available no orange is not brown hopefully brown should be there yeah i guess yeah now it's uh, now the entire presentation is in brown except for this part so there are so this way if you want to change the color the color style of the entire document you can just change it over here what i usually do is that i don't use any of these i just go with some default uh, uh, default theme templates available okay now before i start with the de de default theme templates theme templates let's use uh, some uh, some of the basic uh, theme packages that are available in latex one of them is actually called as the beamer theme split now what this does is that it it creates um, some basic banners basic banners and color themes for the entire document so if i if i were to if i were to uh, comment this out or uncomment this out and use this line use package beamer theme split it will create its own it will create uh, banners and uh, blocks automatically so if I, you see this is the presentation now if i run this and there you have it there you have it the entire presentation has a banner over here and this banner is uh, gray, um, blue in color and you have a banner on the top with and they are also colored black and black and blue and these are actually some ba these are this is the basic theme split basic banner uh, template available for latex and there might be other packages that kind of give you different styling for beamer beamer presentations you can just check it out and what i do is that now with this being said now let me just uh, uh make this brown and check let's see what happens now we see when i set this to be brown when, when with this beamer theme split down when the basic color is set to be brown check what happens the entire theme is now in uh, now in uh, brown and black instead of blue and black as we saw earlier now it's brown and black that's that is because of the theme setting that's because of the theme setting color setting so i just reverted back to blue and run this again it's okay and now it's blue everything is blue fine now other thing is there's other theme colors uh beamer theme shadow now what this package does is that it adds another shadowing la uh, layer to your theme for instance if i were to um if i were to run this that run this you see this shadow uh, outline uh, along out outline about the border this is because this shadow the shadow is actually because of this theme shadow and also check this out check this outline part over here if you can see this part is blue and this part is black and the process as you go from left to right it gradually fades out to black fades out to black these kind of transitions are key, are, are possible because of the, because of the commands written in the beamer theme shadow so if i were to just comment this out 
and run this comment this out and run this the theme shadow also superimposes the conditions so you get this but if I were to comment this out run this the theme the uh, presentation is plain now if I run this it, it invokes it invokes a theme split so what happens is that if you invoke the uh, beamer themes beamer theme shadow package it automatically invokes beamer theme split as well so that's why it is like this so this is a, by this way you have a basic te theme template ready basic theme template ready now what i usually do is that i do not use any of these I use the, some basic themes on the top, uh, some predefined themes available and color themes and uh, 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 presentation themes available, slide themes, okay. But uh, before we go about with that, I'll get, let you guys know a few more stuff. Now if you look at the presentation now, let me just open this presentation again, now it's kind of, um, now it's kind of better. Now if you see in this presentation, uh, all the pages are fine. Okay, if you can zoom it at the bottom, you see a lot of options over here. And these are part of the part and part of the part part and parcel of the presentation help that is helpful for you know to move to other parts of the slide. These are operatable as well. These come as a part of the slide, so you don't have to worry about it. The thing I'm the thing you have to the thing I'm trying to concentrate right now is about these options over here. You see these. You see this uh, footer over here. This footer says uh, my name and extra contents one, extra contents two. And uh, here, here in this part, it says that demo, uh, demo. Uh, it just types the presentation title completely. Now I just dependent. I just uh, in. I just uh, purposely wrote this extra contents and extra contents two uh, as small, so that. Uh, I just wrote them like small so that they fit in. On the other hand, if I have a very big explanation of where I, where I am and everything, like I studied, my my did my masters in this from this in, from this department in this institute from this country, so on and so forth. If I were to write this with multiple backslashes, then it will be uh, how do I put it? Then it will it will talk about a very large page over here. Uh, for instance, what I do is that uh, what I do is that. Uh, Mm, what I do, what I do is that uh, if I were to write extra contents two two more times, um, I guess one more time. Now check this out. You see this? Now there are a lot of contents over here. A lot, of, there's a lot of contents over here. That doesn't. It's okay, but it's kind of cramped up but it's fine but thing is if you look at the bottom they just go on extending and it's kind of it's not it's not that good isn't it so instead to avoid this what we can do is that uh, there's other option called as uh, short author names short author names and uh, short title names which can be used so what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to comment these out and then uh, take this take this option over here what I'm doing is that this is again the same title command, except that, except that now I have within square brackets before the curly braces within square brackets I have a shorter name, which is which actually stands for Beamer, which is it says Beamer and then it says headspace of 5 mm and then it says backslash insert frame number and then with the slash it says insert total frame number. Now what this will do is that instead of re re repeating everything that comes in the content everything that comes on the title instead of repeating that everything over here it just uh, repeat it just repeats this line of statement in our the footer instead where the content is where the presentation is so sorry where the title is oh, come on where the title is okay now if i were to run this check this out you see now this part is empty because i have removed the author I just commented the author part. Now, if you see this part, it's Beamer one one comma one one out of seven, indicating that there are seven slides out of which I'm in the first slide, the second slide, third slide, fourth slide. This is again a part of fourth slide, so on and so forth like that. Okay. Now that's the advantage of the short name. This short name may not will not, in my understanding, will not work in authors or title. 
authors are report, I mean, sorry, articles are reports, but it works in 